Hello everyone, welcome to Capture One in One Minute, where we explore one feature of Capture One to make your workflow better and easier. Today, we're taking a look at watermarking. What if you are sending out an image that you wish to watermark in some way? Can we do that? And how is it that we can make sure the watermark looks the way we want? It's a little bit trickier than you might think. And so we're over here and I find the easiest way to do a lot of export work is to actually have the export tool tab. And I think I might do a couple videos regarding the export tool tab. Can you do this during a regular export window? Of course you can. But inside of our export workflow, we are going to find the watermark tool and I've got it right here. So the watermark tool defaults to none, but you can have text or you can have some kind of a logo, and that's indeed what we are going to do. So I'm gonna take this, and I'm gonna say we're going to use an image for our watermark. The same thing will work with text. It's gonna ask me to simply drag and drop an image in. So I'm going to grab a logo, and I'm going to drop it directly into that spot. And here I get some sliders for the opacity, the scale, and the positioning on horizontal and vertical axes. But as you can see, there is no watermark. I can't see it. And that's because we do not have proofing turned on. This is where things get just that one step a little bit more complex than you might have imagined. So up in our toolbar, we want to have the proofing tool uh, available. If you do not have it in your toolbar, of course you can come to customize your toolbar and grab it and then drag it in. But we're going to simply turn on proofing and we have to turn on proofing for whichever particular export recipe we are going to work with. So let's say we're going to be doing my Adobe uh, RGB output. And then as soon as I turn on proofing, and that is the recipe that I am highlighted on, all right, so that's important. We see my uh, watermark right there. As I change my opacity, slider, I'll be able to change the opacity of it, how big it is, and the horizontal and vertical axis are going to allow me to position it wherever I want. Now, of course, what's nice is if I leave these in the position that I like, they will stay that way for this particular export recipe, meaning that the uh, watermark will look the same every time I use this individual recipe. So I can build a recipe for a particular watermark and it will turn out the same every time. All right, that's how watermarking works in Capture One. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.